Walkie Tail is no stranger to pushing the boundaries of what they deem to be a unique phone consisting of all the right specs for the price. With a variety already to their name, they hope this one with its new revitalized mini designer form factor will grab your attention. This is the Wokitel K16. Despite its small size, sleek and stylish design, this phone still packs a punch in terms of functionality, making it the perfect choice for those looking for a powerful and reliable mobile device on a budget. So let's see what all the hype's about and first start by unboxing this guy. Although the unboxing experience is quite limited, I can't deny that the K16 exudes that uniquely premium feeling. You do get a clear case, charging cable and plug, and your basic user manual, but that's really it. So let's talk about that design. The Wokitel K16 offers more than just functionality. It's designed to be somewhat of an eye-catcher. With its added touch of a luxurious crocodile texture on the back, it provides a unique tactile feel that's both elegant and intriguing. Surprisingly though, it feels really nice in the hand. The slim form factor makes it very comfortable to hold. It brings back memories of how phones used to be, small, compact and just big enough to provide the screen real estate needed for everyday use without being overly large for easy storage in the pocket. The shield shape of the home button not only looks futuristic, but it brings back the convenience of having a tactile button for a quick return to the home page. It is certainly something a lot of people miss with these new phones on the market. The Wokitel K16 boasts an elevated display experience with somewhat optimised colours and brightness and a resolution of 720 by 280 pixels. So not the greatest, but to be honest with a screen of this size you barely notice it. Whether you're checking emails or enjoying videos, this display actually isn't half bad. Obviously the 3.5 inch screen offers a compact and more portable form factor than we're used to by today's standards, but that one handed operation is certainly very appealing. Regarding its performance, this phone operates seamlessly with its impressive MTK8788 processor. With an ample storage capacity of 128GB and an adequate 8GB of RAM, that's more than enough space to store an abundance of photos, videos and your basic applications. However, it may not be the optimal choice for those prioritising gaming capabilities and multitasking. While this compact phone may not have all the features of a high-end device, it is still capable of being somewhat of a gaming companion if you're willing to push it. It can run popular titles like Call of Duty and PUBG on minimal graphic settings, providing somewhat of a smooth gameplay experience. But the display is just simply too small for that. For your light games, it should handle it with ease. Despite its relatively small 3050mAh battery capacity, this phone's energy efficient chipset and IPS panel allow for all day use without needing a recharge. You could easily get 4-5 to five days on standby. So in terms of the battery, it was quite surprising. We do also have support for 4G networks, NFC, Face ID and other functions that make your life a bit more convenient. Having that NFC and Face ID compatibility on a device in this price range, well, it is certainly very appealing. The K16 smartphone boasts a straightforward and intuitive camera configuration that caters to fundamental photography requirements. So by that I mean it really isn't anything fancy. Boasting a solitary lens it is equipped with an autofocus function and an LED light flash located on the rear side. These features enable the device to capture well lit and aesthetically pleasing photographs even in dimly lit environments. However if we are realistic and study the gamma Gathered photos, it is clear that 48 megapixels is still not enough to offer that clarity and sharpness you would get from a mid range high tier flagship phone. If we can look past this, all in all, the K16 is designed to be lightweight and compact without sacrificing on durability or performance. It won't be a phone for everyone, but with its small form factor and ability to fit in the palm of your hand without compromising on an attractive design, this will really appeal to a lot of people. The look is very fantastic fashionable and could be referred to as an acquired taste but to be honest the internal specs still make it a great daily driver for the average consumer. Be sure to check out this product in the link in the description, let me know what you think and as always till next time.